Honourable Senators, I wish to draw your attention to the presence in the gallery of Dr. Maureen Topps from the Medical Council of Canada. She is the guest of the Honourable Senator Ravalia, and on behalf of all Senators, I welcome you to the Senate of Canada. <laughs> Senator Ravalia. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honourable colleagues, I rise today to acknowledge the importance of the Medical Council of Canada in ensuring the highest level of medical care by maintaining excellence in physician assessment in Canada. Pre-Confederate Canada was riddled with an unregulated medical system with quackery and pseudoscientific practices very much a part of the landscape. In 1912, legislation was passed to create high standards and a uniform assessment process for practicing physicians. This led to the formation of the Medical Council of Canada spearheaded by the late Dr. Sir Thomas Roddick. Today, in addition to assessing every medical school graduate, the Council is also responsible for assessing international medical graduates seeking to practice in Canada. Having been on both sides of this coin, I can emphasize the importance and validity of this process. The Council maintains a complete record of all practicing MDs streamlines and simplifies the assessment process and collaborates with partners to maintain current knowledge, best practices and procedures. There is a focus on ensuring rigorous and advanced methods of physician assessment and maintaining a close relationship with medical regulators, educators and allied health groups. The Council continues to ab adapt to the rapid advancements in digital technologies and pharmacotherapeutics, ensuring excellence in maintaining an assessment process that is current, state-of-the-art, and relevant to clinical practice. The Medical Council works diligently to adhere to the principles of diversity, inclusion, and equity, and has ongoing thoughtful dialogue with Indigenous and Black physicians groups to ensure that systemic racism is addressed and that the path towards reconciliation continues seamlessly. This priority is further applied in the Council's staffing and committee priorities. One of the key advances of the Council has been the establishment of the National Assessment Col Collaboration, an alliance of Canadian organizations streamlining the process for international medical graduates seeking licensure in our country. A broad coalition of medical organizations work in tandem nationally to advance the assessment of international grads seeking practice. I have previously worked very closely on this file and was delighted to see the stringent adherence of transparency within this process. Volunteer physicians from across the country work with the executive to ensure that various initiatives and exam processes are conducted in a fair manner. My sincere gratitude goes out to Dr. Ian Bomer the previous CEO and Executive Director of the Council, for his untiring efforts in advancing the work of the Council. I would like to acknowledge today the hard work and dedication of Dr. Maureen Topps, who is our guest today, who will complete her term in this position at the end of the year. Thank you for your invaluable con contributions in maintaining the necessary high-caliber assessments of physicians and introducing the MCC 360 feedback program, which has provided constructive insight into the behavior, perceptions, and experiences of patients and professionals alike. Merci, miigwech, thank you.